gentlemen, it's uh, Nidhog86. Welcome to New Vegas. I recently uh, installed uh, three new uh, Game Pass games. Fallout New Vegas. UFC 3 and Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I wanted to start this about six hours ago. Since since at least ten o'clock last night, it's four o'clock now. But uh my Xbox finally connected. Oh, okay, so it did, it did save it, but uh, we're going to go ahead and start a new one. Uh, I fucked around with it a little bit the other day, but I wanted to start it brand new. This should be my third profile. Uh, my first two profiles are on my Xbox 360, so this is going to be brand new. We're gonna do hardcore mode. Survival basically. I haven't played this in a year. But this isn't the special edition. Eventually, I'll get the DLCs for it. fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world, and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam just barely against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. 
Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink, dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling, must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Rest in peace, Benny. I mean, Matthew Perry. Fucking love New Vegas. Rest in peace, Benny. <laughs> All right. So this will be my third playthrough. I did two on the 360. But this is brand new and on the 360 I had uh, the first version of it I bought was the uh, Ultimate Edition. I don't have the DLCs right now so I'm going to have to work up to it. You're awake. Ooh. How about that? Whoa, easy there, easy. You've been out cold a couple of days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? That <laughs> motherfucker looks like Matthew Perry. <laughs> All right. Mail. Yep. I ain't that fucking old. I'll go with that one. I go with blue.
with Dr. Ginger. Mutton stash. Nah. Chances are we ain't gonna be shaving, so. We're gonna try to do what we can in two hours. Go. I'll go with Doom Rider, fuck it. I don't know. I fucking miss this game. you walk down to the end of the room over by that bigger tester machine there take it slow now it ain't a race it's gonna be real different well, not starting so off far. with the ultimate edition go ahead and give the bigger tester a try we'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties Need our fucking carry Yeah, that's uh... Doc Mitchell. But that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered and a big horn and drop it. What do you say you take a seat <laughs> on my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs well, are not. still barking. Oh, they're barking all right. All 
right. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. I'm gonna answer it as real life as I can. House. Night. Enemy. Light. Mother. <laughs> I'd use my mom as a human fucking shield. Actually, I thought she's already gone now. Okay, now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one, conflict just ain't in my nature. I ain't given to relying on others for support. I'm yep. always fixing to be the center of attention. Nope. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. Okay. okay. How about this one? I'm too embarrassed to see what it Last looks like. Last one. Light and darkness, bearded man, or mushroom cloud. Well, that's all she wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. <clears throat> Barter's good. Melee. Nah. I can do without melee right now. Really. We are going for hardcore mode. So we need our survival. Keep our stink at our barter. Before I turn you Damn, loose, I, I need one more edition. thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. Nope, sure don't. We are picking Wild Wasteland for the first time. Good natured at heart, more prone to solving problems with your mind than violence. You gain plus five to barter, medicine, repair, science, and speech by have negative five in energy weapons. Yep, we're picking that. All mm. right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. <clears throat> we'll do. But first, we are going to loot you, Doc Mitchell. We are going to find some useful shit before we leave your... Got to remember how to...
can't remember how to crouch. How the fuck do I crouch again? Let go, let go, eh. Can't remember how to crouch. crouch. Yeah. <laughs> I literally just stole the, uh, I just, <laughs> I just Stole the pilot way out of the stove. Yeah, can't give that back. Sorry, Doc Mitchell. Oh yeah. I'm gonna try to within two hours I'm gonna try to make it to Novak set up my base camp there. How the fuck do I crouch? I can't remember. I don't need a paperweight. Of this shit, I'm just gonna sell to uh, Chet. I don't know why I can't crouch though. Definitely gonna need all that. Sorry, Dot Mitchell, I got kind of lost. You can forgive me. Yeah. These are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin. But it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my mm. style anyway. Thanks for patching me up, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. <clears throat> it's what I'm here for. 
You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. Yes, sir. Try not to get killed anymore. Hardcore mode. Fallout New Vegas allows you to play in a new hardcore mode that greatly increases the challenges of the game. In this mode, stem packs heal over time and cannot man broken limbs. Right away, removes radiation over time. Ammunition has weight and dehydration is a constant concern. This mode is only recommended for advanced players. You may turn hardcore mode on or off at any time in the gameplay menu. But if you activate hardcore mode now and maintain it through the end of the main storyline, you will receive a special reward. Would you like to activate hardcore mode? Yes. Ain't that a kick in the head? <clears throat> I don't know why it wouldn't let me, uh, yeah, see, now it'll let me crouch. God, I miss New Vegas. I'm just gonna run around and loot shit real quick. my strength at right now. My carry weight. I think that's... Need to go into our inventory. Two hundred and twenty pounds, that's good. Yeah, wild lace, uh, wild, wild wasteland for the first time. lead round mistake we'll take that don't really need a pilot light And I am going to set up some rules. There we go. That corn? Yeah.
off from here. Got a meeting people. That's for barter, I believe. Take that hockey mask. I don't know why I keep checking empty shit. One of the first things we're going to get is a shovel. And good old Chet himself. Now we're going to go dig some shit up. Hello, Mr. Must Chet. Be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Show me what you have for sale. Actually, tell me about the weapon, weapon mods, mods special ammunition. Like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. There's also hollow point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier, but they don't do shit against armor. Haha! <laughs> they don't do shit against armor. Can do. Alright. So let's sell some crap, shall we? Should be for barter. Yep, speech ten. That'll work. <clears throat> you looking to buy some supplies? Can do. Now I'm not gonna sell the ammunition yet. So the vodka won't need that. So these empty syringes for now. Empty cigarettes. Sensor modules. Damn motherfuckers still got it. Seven hundred. I won't sell the energy cells. <clears throat> Need that shovel. Oh, I 
need a doctor's bag, but we ain't got enough right now. Salesman Weekly. Another satisfied for now. Yep, -er. Take it easy now. Now we got a shovel. Where's that at? Where's that at? All right, let's go up here first. <clears throat> Water tower. We might not be able to get to uh, Sunny Smiles. Hey, there's Victor. He's all creepy looking and shit. What the fuck's he doing? Sun tanning? What the fuck? Search Victor. What the fuck? Is Victor dead? How the fuck that happened? What the fuck? Oh well. So long, Victor. That's never happened. Club gauge rounds. Menta. Great Robin at its finest. No globe for good springs. Yay. fucking 12 gauge ammo I need to find a fucking shotgun I think that's all the graves up here why is dead might just be the whole, whole wild wasteland thing Two more stops. We need the Yangtze uh, Memorial. What do we got for melee? Sorry, motherfucker. <laughs> 